Okay, we are heading out from our camp here. This has been such an awesome weekend. We've been here for actually five days. Rolled in Thursday. Stayed Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Went on a hike every day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today was probably the most epic of the hikes. Those slot canyons are so fun. Good to be with an experienced hiker and hikers. My Uncle Mark has hiked pretty much all over the world. Uh, it's just so great to see them, spend time with them. Seriously awesome. I'm feeling so good. So I'm going to actually go into this area a little bit and give you guys a glimpse of some of the areas you can camp for free. We camp for free here. It's all BLM land, 14 day limit. Pack it in, pack it out. But there's quite a few free camping areas that actually have vault toilets and a little bit more of a distinguished parking area so you don't have to go down dirt roads if that's not your thing. But um, you know what, this place out here, definitely a cooler month area. It gets hot as heck in the summer, probably fall and spring. But out here with these slot canyons, gotta be care careful with flash floods. People have died out here for sure. Goblin Valley State Park. Very small state park, and honestly, the stuff we explored outside the park blew everything inside the park away. So, um, just so much BLM area. I think, I don't think I've been somewhere that's had so much BLM area, free camping land. Uh, just amazing. So, like I said, we'll follow these guys out, and they're going to head back to the highway. I'm going to go in a little bit and give you guys a glimpse around. It, there really is some amazing camp spots. So the state park is just off to the left there. But we're gonna go forward in here and this is again all BLM land and watch when we get past the swell here. This sandstone rock is what's referred to as the San Rafael swell. It goes all the way up for miles and miles and miles. Just so much open BLM land. But this area here really some of the neatest uh, terrain landscape that I've been in kind of deserty, but the rock formations are so intense, it just makes it really, really special. So like I said, being here five days, we got a chance to explore all this. Did one hike in the state park, did another couple hikes back in here. Just awesome. This is one of the areas here for the big class A RVers and fifth wheels. Very convenient, you can just pull in this big lot. I'll pull in there real quick. They do have two separate vault toilets, some uh, steel fire rings. You can see here, these guys just camped around. One of the vault toilets over here. And there's actually another area like this in here. And watch once we get it past these rocks here, it opens up pretty much. There's so much room, although this probably does get pretty busy on weekends and holiday weekends. There's so much area, it's like each person can have their own canyon side camp spot. It is just beautiful. We chose to stay out there because the first night we came in, uh, we were just tired and wanted to just pull over and stop. But once we were there, uh, it, we just like being secluded because we were here over a weekend. It was pretty crowded in here, but again, uh, still plenty of spots. I mean, just anywhere. You could just pull off and camp anywhere here. Pavement does end here. But the views just get more spectacular the more you go in. And these roads here, you can go for miles and miles and miles. Probably the best thing to do, if you really want to come explore this area, is go to the visitor center at a state park, invest in a map for the BLM map for the area, which they have. They're very detailed. But there's pull-off spots all over here. Here's the other camping area here off to the right with the vault toilets. They even have a shade structure. Totally free, first come, first serve. You are definitely not limited to camping there. You can go beyond this and any pull-offs you see. As long as you can get your vehicle there, you can camp for free, 14 days. A lot of the most beautiful structures are up over this hill. I'm not really gonna go up there. I'm a little, it's a little late in the afternoon and I'm trying to get to the next town. I've been without cell service for a full five days and I uh, need to get to some emails. Got some people waiting to hear from me. 
so you'll see the view here as I turn around. But there's more rock formations like this straight ahead. I think you can see that as you go further back down this road. And literally, you can camp right up against the side of them. But watch when I turn around here. Look at this view. Just amazing. All up here, all these rocks. I mean, that's it's just the more time you spend here. You know, when I first pulled up the first day, it's like, yeah, kind of deserty rock formation. Seen some stuff like this before. But what I've noticed the, the time that I spent here, that full five days, you start to get to really get a sense of the time, you know, like the, the millennia that has passed for all of this to form. And it's, it's really intense. I, it was a very, this has been a very grounding, outside of the adventurous hikes and uh, getting to see and spend time with my family again. Uh, it's just, just an intense feeling. And that seemed to be kind of the underlying, um, just, a, just fascinating uh, how many years it's taken for all these to form like they are, the erosion and wind and rain. Just fantastic. Again, grateful that I got to experience this because from here on out, for the most part, I'm gonna be in forest. So this is kind of one like little last dose before the summer of deserty type terrain. Just fantastic. Can definitely say the Slot Canyon hike today, the name that that hike, uh, Ding, Ding and Dang. And the two spots where we actually had to use ropes to get down the little ledges definitely up the adventure and the teamwork we experienced to get each other through it and uh, just just great great experience I'm I'm pretty high on life right now at this I'll turn you guys over this way a little bit look at that just fantastic Well, I got about a hundred mile drive ahead of me today, and it is a little later in the afternoon. I think we're already approaching, yeah, it's 2.30. I'm gonna head into a town city called Price, Utah. This whole hundred mile uh, stretch is gonna be nothing, no services, out in the middle of nowhere till I hit that town of Price. So I'm just gonna get back on uh, Highway 24, go back up to I-70, I believe I'm going to go west for just a little bit, then I'll hit Highway 6, head north, and that'll take me right into Price. A lot of long, full days the last five days. It's been awesome. So awesome. All right, guys, so this is my camp. Yep, this is a rarity. I'm in a Walmart parking lot. I just need to get some laundry done and get some uh, things done online, so I'm hanging out in a town. Probably head out of here tomorrow afternoon. Not really sure. Got to get all my laundry done and some other things. I'm looking into getting some mail forwarded here. May or may not happen. I'm getting in touch with some subscribers that want to meet up in the area. So we'll see how that pans out uh, tomorrow. So we'll check in. Sun is just set. It's about 8 p.m. Uh, a little after 8 p.m. So I'm getting ready to just call it a night. Had a long day, long hike, long weekend of hiking. So I'm calling it a night. Hey guys, I know this wasn't the most eventful video, but I really did just want to share more information and give you a glimpse more of the San Rafael Swell area outside of Goblin Valley State Park in Utah. It was a really special place for me. I really enjoyed it. So I'll leave GPS coordinates for the camp that we stayed at for the five days, as well as those other two spots with the vault toilets I showed, totally free. So I'll leave those coordinates in the video description below. Uh, also, what I wanted to touch on is uh, I'm considering adding a fourth video to my schedule. I've been doing the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, typical format of kind of showing you where I'm camped, where I'm headed, uh, the scenery, a little bit of the cooking, just kind of the on the road camp life experience. Uh, but what I'm thinking on doing is maybe a Saturday video where it's like a week's recap, where I just kind of sit and talk with you guys and give you a little bit of a personal side of what I'm experiencing throughout the week, uh, this whole life on the road, being a sharing my life on YouTube, 
YouTube, um, all of that, kind of the stuff that I don't touch on in my normal videos, as well as answering any questions that I received in the comment section throughout that week. And I just feel like it would be a good opportunity to kind of connect with you more and really share like what it's like to be out here on the road as a solo traveler. Uh, I've been meeting up with a lot of you guys, viewers and subscribers. And, you know, for me, I'm basically meeting up with complete strangers, but so far it has turned out to be amazing. So I'd like to be able to talk about that a little bit more. And I just feel like having a set video for that at the end of the week would be a good place for that. So if you would be interested in that, or if that's something that you would actually be interested in watching, let me know in the comment section. If I get enough people that are interested, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try, see how it goes. Uh, it's going to take me uh, just getting used to talking to you guys directly more through this camera. And uh, I just really want to just have a connection with you as viewers to really give you a feeling of what it's like to be out here in my personal experience and what I'm going through in contrast to the life I was living before this and for me this so far has been a very magical experience life-changing uh, I'm not the same person I was I know it sounds cl cliche but I'm really not the same person I was before I hit the road so much has transpired the experiences the people I've met the jobs I've worked uh, so kind of wanted to just take a special video um, every week on Saturday to kind of touch on that. So let me know, guys, if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, I try to not to ramble too much in my normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. So Saturday would definitely be the kind of just rambling, talking video. And I'll try to stay focused again and just give you guys a, a little bit more of a personal side of what I'm experiencing out here. So again, I appreciate all you guys following along. Appreciate everyone that's reaching out and meeting up with me. I'm looking forward to all the future meetups. Really appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Peace.